you can't just run down the middle of the road with average now. You can't hide behind anything or anybody. Everything's got to be good. Uh, if it's not, you leave yourself open for a, a ticket home. Honey cake with honeycomb and a used milk sorbet. I love honey. Who doesn't? But it's really sweet. What you then need there is that used milk to offer a balance to all that sweet honey. It might not be quite as complex as what some of the other guys are always doing, but for me, I'm really pushing myself with different techniques, flavours, and trying to make it exciting. So that's going to have 26 minutes, and I'll check it. I'm not sure about these ovens, because they're, they're all new. So normally, it's about 26 minutes for the cake, but <laughs> might be a bit longer in there, I'm not sure. Pressing on with the first dessert, Thomas has got his used milk sorbet on to churn, and he's made a honeycomb from caramelized sugar and bicarb of soda. Got to leave that for a good sort of hour and a half to, to cool down, and I'm going to crumble it and put, put parts of it over the dish. But he's noticed a problem with his honey cake. It's cooked too quickly around the outside and not cooked quick enough in the middle. I'm going to do it again. I'm not, I'm not panicking. It's just one of those annoying things that I could have done without, but I've got to get it right. The spotlight is now on Thomas and his honey-inspired dessert with used milk sorbet. Yes. All right, here we are. Honeycomb and honey are uh, amongst my favorites. Put together with candied lavender, and I was completely sold. Sorbet the last thing? Sorbet is the last thing, yeah. A little bit soft. Don't quenelles. Come on, quick, 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 sorbet. Might be like just to put a blob. We'll go for a blob. I think we'll get away with a blob. Ready to go, Thomas. Ready to go. Service guys, please. Everything on the dish is how I wanted it, how I envisaged it. Couldn't really go better for me. If those guys like it, whoopsie hey. <laughs> Thomas's Devon inspired pudding includes honey cake, used milk sorbet, honeycomb, lemon gel, and candied lavender. cake well, it was delicious it had just the right texture and then actually coming out into lavender and, and lemon being slightly rescued from the sweetness of the honey I thought it was delicious you had to have used milk to take the edge off the honey didn't you that's what life's all about is puddings that was scrumptious we cannot thank you enough and it is our 40th anniversary of completing the first ever vertical journey around earth which has never been repeated Quite a lot of us have sort of got a bit older, some have even departed, and even the departed ones, we will tell them what a fantastic meal that was. So a thousand thanks to all of you. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Here, here. An amazing day in the MasterChef competition. I've still got more to give, and I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I just can't get enough of it.